almost 60 centimeters high. This is the immense flower of the elephant yam. Locals call it the witch of the forest. As the stars rise, the witch begins to cast her spell. The forest temperature drops, but the flower starts to heat up. A heat-sensitive camera reveals the flower's temperature rising by an incredible 10 degrees Celsius. At the same time, a noxious stench of rotting flesh fills the forest air. As the flower's heat increases, a cloud of odor rises up. The foul perfume carries far and wide. It doesn't go unnoticed. Carrion beetles arrive on the scene. The beetles come in search of a feast of warm, decaying flesh. But they've been tricked. Slippery sides ensure they tumble straight into the center of the monster flower. There's not enough room to spread their wings and the waxy walls ensure that there's no escape. But there's nothing sinister in the flower's agenda. The beetles will be its unwitting helpers. Dawn arrives, but the flower remains unchanged, holding its captives through the day. As the second night falls, the witch stirs again. In a matter of minutes, the flower's precious golden pollen squeezes from the stamens and begins to fall, showering onto the captive beetles below. Now, at last, the prisoners are free to go. The flower's wall changes texture, becoming rough, to provide the ideal escape ladder. Loaded with their pollen parcels, they can now climb to freedom, just as other forest witches are beginning to open. Seduced by the irresistible perfume, the beetles are sure to pay a visit, so ensuring pollination and another generation of incredibly big, smelly flowers. <laughs>